So Dr. Winter, thanks for being here with us at the Florida Academy of Cosmetic Dentistry. We're really happy to have you here and we wanna ask you a couple of questions uh, having to do with the future of cosmetic dentistry. What kind of struggles do you see or challenges do you see for those who, of us who call ourselves cosmetic dentists or do a lot of cosmetic procedures? Where, where do you see the future for that? It's an interesting question because I think if we look at our patient treatments, um, I think most of us practice in a way that they're outcome based and the outcome that we want to create for our patients is cosmetically or aesthetically driven. Um, so I think everyone is seeking out their right objectives and goals. The problem that we've been facing in recent years and maybe it'll continue um, a bit longer is the economy. Um, fewer people are choosing to do elective procedures. And so I think more and more of what we're gonna be doing, it's gonna be based on uh, procedures that are needed or required to restore teeth. And therefore the aesthetic or cosmetic outcome is still the key element in it all. And so we're still cosmetic dentists, but it's gonna be based more on on uh, functional need, aesthetic needs, or biologic needs. So it's not just gonna be elective services. Um, and I think it's really driven by the, the economy right now. People have been hanging tight to their money. Great, thanks. Uh, what's hot in the industry right now? Any kind of uh, interesting new things that you see technologically or? Well, um, I think with technology, the the most interesting thing and the hottest thing is the CAD CAM world. Uh, intraoral um, uh, recording devices that you can then either mill in your offices or communicate to a laboratory and mill restorations in the lab. So that's evolved tremendously in the last few years and in the next few years it's gonna, again, revolutionize I think what we do in dentistry. Um, traditional impression materials will be going by the wayside and and the digital world is going to um, Same thing over. that happened with 35 millimeter photography. Exactly, right. exactly, yeah. yeah. So what are some, some suggestions that you can offer to young professionals that are just entering into the industry? Um, in today's world, uh, the, the people coming out of dental school unfortunately are, most are financially strapped and it's a struggle, I think, just to find a uh, position, whether it's in their own office or working for someone, and then making enough money to survive. Because the reason I mention that is I think the thing that I'd suggest is to keep uh, your eyes and ears and mind open to learning, continue learning. Because we only had our start in dental school and education is the key. So one of the easiest ways to get into that is surrounding yourself with mentors, you know, local people that have this, the, the same passion and desire to do quality work, um, treat patients in a uh, very kind manner and, and do quality things and maybe be involved in study clubs that's less financial commitment. But then attend meetings like this, which is a huge value. Um, right. you're, you're putting on a phenomenal program and, and um, you know, staying involved in, and not losing sight, the fact that it's, life is a continuing learning process. Right, thank you. Uh, <clears throat> one more question. How has your experience with the Florida Academy of Cosmetic Dentistry, as long as it's been, half a day. Um, <clears throat> how has that been for you? Um, how's the interaction with the general membership? And <clears throat> what's you, what do you notice about our academy? Um, it, the, my main contacts obviously have been with you and we've known each other for a few years. And um, if the group's passions and desires are similar to yours, it's, uh, um, it's a great group. Um, <laughs> great, thanks. Because, uh, um, you're um, doing all the right things, you're striving to help people grow, and that's what this is all about. Um, and you're surrounding yourself with like-minded people, and um, um, the interactions we've had over the last couple of years trying to organize a program, get it put together, and if it's been great. And yeah, the people I've met here have been super. I really appreciate being here. 